Hello YouTube, Red here. It's been a very long time since I've made a video. To be more specific, about three months. So I excuse that I haven't made a video in that in that uh, period of time. I've been busy with school, but now it's summertime, so more videos on the way, hopefully. Um, next up, today it is a haul. But before I get to that, I'd like to thank all my subscribers and viewers for staying loyal to the channel. Thank you very much. It means so much to me. I think we passed 75, which is a pretty cool milestone for me personally, as on my previous account, I never even hit that mark. So this is a very good, uh, amazing milestone for me. So thank you very much to everyone. And without further ado, let's get into the haul. Starting off, what I think most of my subscribers would like to see, I got one Gundam throughout the month. It is the MG Master Grade RB79 Ball. Custom painted this with a kind of gunmetal color. All of all of it's painted except for this part here. I did add my personal touch with like a Bandai symbol there. I applied all the decals. Very nice kit actually. I picked this up at Comic Con for only $16. So this was a very nice find. Very nice build. I recommend it to anyone out there. It's so nice. There's like wires there, um, chrome part. Uh, I mean metal parts there. So yeah, uh, I will have a full review on this probably, hopefully, um, sometime soon. If you want to see a review, please leave a comment down below, and I'll be sure to get to it. Next up, for all you Transformer fans, I was able to pick up one Transformer at Comic Con. It's incomplete, but it is. Uh, oh my gosh, Ultra Magnus. That's his name. He is missing his hands, gun, and trailer, but the rest is really nice. I tried to fix up his chrome work a bit, because when I got him, it was uh, pretty faded. I will probably get the repro labels for this guy sometime. I really don't know when I'm going to uh, actually complete this figure. But for now, I'm pretty happy just having an old vintage G1 Ultra Magnus, just like this. Next up, we have a little bit of tat here, but... Tupac Shakur P.O.P. figure. Um, I guess you could say I'm a Tupac Shakur fan. I'm not the biggest fan of all, but I do like his music, so I saw this figure for uh, $15, so I decided to pick it up as, uh, I don't know, just support local businesses, and I did want a figure like this. Uh, I would have much rather the Notorious B.I.G. I am a big Notorious B.I.G. fan, but they didn't have him, uh, sadly. They had him the day before, but I guess I missed him. Which sucks because I was at the convention all weekend. But that's another story. So, here's Tupac Shakur. On to something that I don't really often get, but I picked up a McFarlane Toys um, statue. This here is a Randy Moss figure, or statue I should say. Very nice detail on him. He, this was when he was in the Raiders, and surprisingly, if I'm not mistaken, he made this amazing catch while he was uh, playing for the Patriots, which is a bit weird, but maybe he made this catch for the Raiders too. Uh, I'm not too big of a Raiders fan, I am more of a 49ers, but, you know, Moss is uh, playing for the 49ers now, so hopefully we get a figure of him soon. Next up, I purchased a few um, Hot Wheels. I am pretty satisfied with the purchases that I got for Hot Wheels, but I would like to trade for the uh, Chevelle SS Treasure Hunt that was released. Not the Super, but just the normal. Um, the like teal blue kind of colored. So if anybody has that, I would love to trade for it. And let's get on to it. So. First, here are all of the ones I got, and let's take a more in-depth look at each one of them. First, I have the sh uh, Shelby Cobra 427 S-C. This is from the Muscle Mania line. Very nice casting. This is from 2011, as are all the other cars, because in my area, 2012 um, nice cars are kind of hard to come across, but especially treasure hunts. So this is uh, the Shelby Cobra 427S-C. Next up, this is the first treasure hunt I ever found. It's a custom 62 Chevy. 
Treasure Hunt 2011. This is the non-super, but very nice casting nonetheless. Painted rear light with the surfboard inside. The Tampa is giving me a tribal feel for this one. And yeah, it's really nice, like kind of low ride. Uh, low rider wheels in a way. And last but not least, the 63 T Bird here. All in green. It's like a very nice green, too. So there we go. These have white lines. If I'm not mistaken, that's what you call them. They aren't rear riders. This is not the super. But still a very nice casting. It has metal body, metal base, also. So, yeah. Um, they all have been opened. Just show you that. So, if anybody is interested in trading for the Chevelle SS um, treasure hunt, like the teal or cyan colored, I don't know, like light blue colored, I would love to trade for that. So, if anybody is open for trades, just let me know. Comment below, and we can hopefully work out a deal. And last but not least for this haul. I picked up a Star Wars figure. Usually I don't pick up Star Wars figures, but uh, I've always been a fan of Ewoks, and I found this for seven bucks, so I had to pick it up. This is a low gray. It's the Medicine Man. Looks really, really cool with his like headdress with the skull on it. I think he's like a bear Aztec in my opinion. That's how he looks to me, a bear Aztec. Um, yeah, so. Really cool, has the Kenner card back, low gray, or kind of the Jedi. It's like in perfect condition. I might open it, but I need somebody's opinion, so leave a comment down below if you want me to open it, and I will. Um, Arc Trooper Han Solo, Baris Ophi, Rebel Fleet Trooper, and Bomb Vinden are the other figures in this wave. Now, Bomb Vinden here looks like he has a piece of poop on his head, because uh, I don't know. Whoever designed him wanted, like, him to be the butt of every joke. But, uh, yeah. So that's how the original figure looked. Let me know if I should open him or not. Um, because I might actually. Just let me know in the comments down below. So that does it for my haul video for today. Um, thank you everyone for watching subscribing it means so much to me i hope you enjoyed this whole video and the different format that i'm doing probably most of my videos won't be this format but i just wanted to give it a try let me know what you think about this uh, format let me know if you want to trade for any of these three hot wheels remember they are opened because uh, i know some people are mint on card diehards and let me know if i should open this low gray here i am tempted to but i want to know what everyone thinks or what somebody thinks. Because if I get one response to open it up, I probably will. So thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you all next time. I wasn't lying.